Getting the right design colors for your project can sometimes be the most difficult part. But when you've found the right inspiration, drawing colors can be actually quite easy. And one of the most popular color styles today is this vintage or retro color palette. So I'm gonna show you how we would set up a mood board and then draw colors from it to make our own vintage color palette. And we're gonna do that using Kittle. So if you don't have Kittle yet, now's a great time to sign up for free using that link down in the description. And then you can follow along to see how I'm gonna use Kittle to make my own color palette. All right, so here's the first retro vintage color palette we're calling Golden Age. And so this one, you're going to find a lot of similarities to Victorian style art. Here's the mood board that I have chosen for this. You can see these deep golds you might find in glass gilding or sign lettering, hand lettering, painting, things like that. And uh, you would see even dual tones, two types of gold you could see here. You could use two types of this kind of yellowish gold here. But let me show you just briefly how we would do this. This is how I made this palette. So if we go over to uh, a basic shape, I'll just add a basic shape. Uh, and then I'll pull this over to the side. I'm gonna hit the W button to exit the trim view. And then I can go to this dropper tool, the eyedropper tool, the color dropper tool. And then we can go in here and we can select a color that we want. So uh, let's just pick one of these little shades of the gold here and you can see it produces this kind of coppery looking color. Now we could do the same thing. We can kind of get this deep purplish or this deep blue color from this one. Um, and this is how you could go about making your color palettes. Easily upload an image, go over to this eyedropper tool and then target the color that you want and you can start building your own color palette like this. So here is the minty berry, which is making use of greens and reds, uh, which is a kind of uh, very retro floral type vibe that you might see. And over here, you can see that they're kind of like opposite each other on the wheel. And so if we go up into the board, uh, the mood board that we created, we can see how these colors are being used. So backgrounds are the kind of really bold green that you see down there at the bottom or that lighter cream color or the red color so it's basically using uh, a rule that we'll get to a little bit later uh, but you'll see these in retro style designs uh, especially kind of in the 30 40 50 range the next one is going to be blue blush and so we have this uh, very complementing color scheme starting with a really dark midnight blue over here on the right and then we have a super nice high contrast color over on the left and you could use those opposites uh, which we're about to see in the on the mood board but these really work together uh, when putting together your designs um, for a more uh, blueish style that you would need some kind of vintage blue style and so you can see uh, this was big for sure in soap uh, style designs also for chocolate and cocoa and cookies and things like that things that are calming and refreshing beer cans and things like that so you would have seen this a big wide range from vintage all the way to a modern one so here is a more summer retro color palette and you can see uh, this is going to span through almost time itself it's been used for a long time because it makes use of the primary colors here that are in the right that are right in the middle of this wheel here you can see these primary colors and so some deep blue we have a red and then we have those bright yellows um, what you might see a lot on surfing logos and things like that so if we check out the mood board for this you will see a massive variety all the way from more victorian uh, vintage all the way up through kind of retro 6070 to Bajas to famous paintings uh, even psychedelic style stuff that you would see up there in the top right like that pizza box this is such a widespread palette uh, it's amazing to use for so many different things here so this is the mood board we used to make that color palette that retro color palette and then we're going to talk about applying a color palette to your design and we want to use the 60 30 10 rule so here is the color palette that we were just talking about the more summer retro color with all of the primary colors that, that blue red and yellow um, and so what we want to do is make sure that we use colors correctly in our layout. So this is called the 60, 30, 10 rule, where we wanna have a primary color, which is the largest section 
of whatever your design is. So we have a primary color. In this instance, we've taken three colors from the retro color palette, and the darkest blue is what we're going to use as 60%. So that's going to be good for backgrounds, really large sections. Then we have the kind of more tealish blue, and it's going to be, that's going to be 30%. So that's going to be really great for lettering or typography or a main illustration of some sort. So you're going to use about 30% of the second uh, secondary color in your design. And then we move over here to the right, which is going to be accents. So we're going to use that kind of bright uh, muted yellow as our accent pieces, things like highlights or ornaments that will really bring your piece together. And what we could do is we could flop these. So if I make these the opposite colors, boom, really quick shift there. And so now we have a different color kind of backwards, but it still uses the 60, 30, 10 rule. Now, let's say when you want to use all five colors. So you would use two colors that are complement uh, in the same kind of vein. So we have this, this lighter cream and we have this yellow, which are in the same category. We would use that for about 60% of the design. Then we would use these two blues. So we have the dark blue and we have the teal. So we'd use that for 30%. And then this 10% would be the brighter accent color, that, that red, that kind of orangey red. So in Kittle, we actually have a palette feature for you to use. So down here on the right, you can click this, and then we have all of these palettes available for you. Here's the current palette colors you can see of our design on the left there. But then when I start clicking any one of these palettes, it will apply those colors to your design, and that will be your new palette, which is absolutely amazing. So you can click any of these already crafted ones and it'll change your project colors down here at the bottom and then you'll be able to see the current palette up at the top and it changes depending on the palette that you select which is pretty amazing you can either of course draw in and make your own or use that palette feature so now it's time for you to grab your own inspiration and make some beautiful color palettes yourself but before you go do me a quick favor and hit that thumbs up and the red subscribe button if you haven't done so already that way you can know the next time we upload quick tutorials just like this one to the channel thanks so much for watching and for using kittle until next time create magic Everything.